Did you know there's people that play both sides? Did you know that there are people that say that they're one way and then when they're with someone else, they're completely different? Have you ever known someone that you really thought that you can trust, that you really thought that you were cool with, that you really thought that this person had, you know, your best interest in mind? And all along, they did something, or you saw something, or you just knew something wasn't right, and you could feel it. It's spiritually intuitive, it, like a, like a, like a, like spiritually, and intuitively, inside. And you're like something is off. I can't put my hand on this, but I don't think that this person is who they say they are and I'm not talking about there's some monster no I'm just saying that people are playing two sides so when you see one it's like in Spanish when I say esa gente tiene dos caras dos caras básicamente que tiene dos, dos formas de ser so two different faces two different ways of being one way with you another way with another person right <clears throat> and the thing about it is, is that it's hard to tell in the beginning because these people can play the game so well. They have their role down pat because their role is for you to fall into major trust, to fall into a major knowing, to get you right off the bat and to build that trust, to build it so that you feel like, okay, no, this person right here, everybody else, I thought they weren't good, but this one right here, they got my back. I know they got my back. And listen, I need to, I need to speak to you very, very importantly about this, is that some people have certain assignments. Some people have certain things that they literally have been called, told, and paid for to do. Now, I know some of y'all are not going to like this message, but here comes the exposure. Some people are sent. Some people are, are crafted to do these things. And listen, and the sad part is, is that you hear about it every day. You read it in the comments. You read it in people. You go on a on a, a YouTube, Twitter, social media, live, IG, TikTok, and you hear the comments of people saying they said they were this way, but then they turned on me. And they they said they were going to do this, and then this happened, this and this happened. Listen, listen. There's there's so much that you need to understand here. There are people that are going to do this to you, and you have to be as wise as a serpent and as harmless as a dove. Did you hear me? You have to be as wise as a serpent and harmless as a dove. Why is that? Because you can't fight fire with fire. You cannot return the favor you cannot meaning meaning you cannot do what someone else is doing that is causing harm and you go back and cause harm and think that you solved everything oh, i'm gonna get them oh they ain't coming what now listen i know all of us ain't saved because i ain't all the way saved right don't get me twisted however we have to know that we cannot Use the same weapons of warfare that the other person is doing that's playing both sides. Why? Because it's only going to lead you down to a road of headaches, heartbreak, stress, worry, resentment, anger, frustration, brokenness, fear, lethargy, depression. You don't like any of those words, do you? Neither do I. But when we know that someone is playing both sides and we find out, we're like, what? Sometimes we, we you, it takes us moments to, because to, we're taking it back. Because there was no way that this person could, there's no way that they could do, how in the world could you think 
that was all that we've been through, all that we've talked about, all that we've shared, all that I've helped you through, all that we've been through. And then this happened. They turned the back. Listen, they have they did it to Jesus. Listen, they hated on him. They was up there talking about, yeah, that's my homeboy. Who was in the Bible? They was like, yeah, that's my dude, man. We we, we hang hard. I always got to talk like this, right? Because I, I want to be real simple. Now, I don't remember the dude in the Bible, but he hung with Jesus. I think he cut the dude's ear off, right? But if that's the one in the Bible on the disciple. He was hanging on, telling everybody, yeah, y'all would be kicking in. Me and Jesus be everywhere, y'all. And then, all of a sudden, if Jesus had to get, you know, crucified, he on trial, and they're trying to take him down, right? That dude was like, what? Who? Jesus? I don't know that dude. What you talking about? Like, what? what? How you say it? Is it Jesus or is it Jesus? Cause, no, I don't know. You know what I'm left you? Like, they like, I don't even know who you talking about. Like, don't don't mix my name with no, but don't even put my name, keep my name out your mouth. Like, he was fronting. He played two sides. He played two sides. Like, like he was the actor of the year war. Like, perfect everybody was like what happened to you you was hanging with no i wasn't no don't say it again like he's like i don't know what you're talking about i do not know i did not sleep like he was so serious like i looking at i mean you couldn't lie detector couldn't track like nobody they were starting to scratch their head saying was he really with you or what like people that's where to get you like did they really do it or not like Listen, the one, the closest, my dad used to say, the closest ones to you is the ones that'll get you. My dad used to say, the closest ones to you is the ones that'll get you. Like, my dad used to say, the closest ones to you are the ones that will get you. Because if you're not worried about the people far away, right? Because you know what the people far away can do. You, you ain't even tripping because you know they can come all kinds of, but the closest ones, the ones that you think, the ones that you like rock with, the ones that you love, the ones that you care about, the ones that you, you, You've, you've brought up the ones that you think that like this is my family these are my people these are my friends these are my these are the people I work with these are the people that we've done so many projects together like we we go all the way back like I never will hurt you like I never only have good intentions for you and you did like I can't believe and so many people go down because people play two sides so many people but guess what that was their assignment they went in knowing, they went in doing it because if they knew what really would happen, what the real outcome would be, they would never, they would never try to hurt, they would never. Now, I know, I know people make mistakes. Everybody's not, everybody, everybody's not, no one's perfect, right? I know we make mistakes. I know we, we hurt people, hurt people, but we get it, right? But when it's a continuous, when you're continually playing both sides when you're continually playing mind games when you're continually trying to get over on the person when you're continually trying to to plant things and to say things and to hurt people and to get a jolly from it and to and to just watch back as a collective group or you know individuals or just as yourself just to to just see what happens no misery loves company and people are playing both sides what happens here is that your intuition if you tapped in you already kind of knew right you already knew let's get this clear you already knew something was wrong but you didn't want to you didn't want to say it like you forgot like you didn't want you didn't want to believe that it could be right you didn't want to, and normally when your gut says something, normally when you feel it, normally when your intuition is speaking, normally when God is trying to tell you, watch my video, wait, he's trying to tell you something. Normally when this happens, you have so much love, so much care, so much roly, you know, so much thing that you don't want to believe it. Like, it can't, like, no, like, no, like, no, this can't happen, like, no, I totally know, like, this is not, like, we, we've, like, this is like my, my best friend, you know, like, I know, like, that they would never do that. So I'm just, it's all in my head. Like, I'm like, I'm like, I was like, I just need a break. Like, snap out of it, dude. Like, snap out of it. Like, this, <laughs> like, these things happen. And when we know that our intuition was trying to tell us this all along, but we don't want to, like, see it, it's because 
we want to see the best in people, right? We want to hope that it was just a fluke. Like, we want to hope that they was just like, oh, no, they was just, you know, maybe upset about, I don't know, what. maybe I said something, maybe I did something. But these people are intentional. Intentional about doing this. And the thing is, is that when people play both sides, and you see both sides, when you wake up, when you snap out of it, you're like, okay, what am I going to do? Am I going to confront them? Am I going to say this? Da, 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 da. I'm gonna get... Am I going to go with them? Am I going to let God do it? Right? It's so easy to say, let God do it. It's so easy to say, but is it, how easy is it to do? Right? Here's the thing. I've never... I, listen. When you know someone is playing these games, you 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 almost you almost like forget them, Father, for they know not what they do. Even though they know what they do, they know not what they do, because God said it's better that you tie a rope around your neck and sink to the bottom of the ocean before you mess with my chosen ones. And they don't know that. Have you ever seen? And you don't you ever you never want to wish nothing negative on anyone. You never want to wish up, even if you see people playing both sides, even if you see people trying to take your peace, even if you don't even, you still don't want them to see that smoke like you still, because you know it's over for them. Like the wrath of God. So you don't even, you don't do nothing. And so you pray, like, like lighten it up at least, because you already know, like, it's too many times I've seen where people try to, like, and, I, and, and I'm like, God, why did you let me see? The final thing of what, like, why did you let me see, like, like, because I knew when people had said and did some things, and I was like, and I just sat back, I was like, God, you know, you know my heart, like, you know what time it is, like, you know that this was wrong, what they did, and all I did was try to be nice and do the, and let me tell you, like, it wasn't weeks, it wasn't months, it was years later. And when I say years later, I'm like, God brought it back around. And the thing is, is like, you think that they don't get, like, you think that people don't get served, like karma. Like, you think that people don't? Or you think like, man, I, you know, it's been years and you holding it in. You can't hold it in. Like, you got to let it go. You got to let God handle it. And I mean, I don't know. It could have been at least five years, five, six, seven years. And I seen, I'm not even going to speak. I seen the person. And it happened like several times. And I acknowledged, like, is that you? I couldn't, I mean, I, it just, I don't know how, It maybe it was the, the gesture, the movement. That was the only reason how I knew that that was the person. Like, they were unrecognizable in such a way that I was like, and this was like seven, eight years later. And I'm like. What, and all I did was shook my head. I was like, you don't have a beautiful, day. like, because you don't know, like, and you don't even know what they go through when they do it. Like, they do it, they laugh, they play, they think, guess what, but then they group, they crowd, but when they go back home, they getting dealt with then. They click in and clear conscious. That you, people say that they do different things, but they really, if you, then you listen and you listen, you read like people can't sleep, like people can't really think, people can't operate because they have families too. They have loved ones too. And what if someone like were mean to them? What if someone bullied them? What if somebody did, what if somebody played both sides, you know, with them and said they were their friends and they would care for them, they would look out for them. And then, you know, somebody shifted them out and then didn't follow up what they said. That would hurt not only their, their family members, but it would hurt them too. So, when you put yourself in somebody else's shoes that you're doing this to, you're like, you know what? I don't think this is, I can't do this no more. Like, I can't live like this anymore. You just pray that, you know, you just send off love, care, and have it. you hoping that they change. Like, they change. Like, they, they turn from what they're doing. And you send love and positive light vibration so that you can transmute it, like, into something that's more positive. Because I'm telling you, I'm t like... This like this is not my words. Like you go, you 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 follow up with the Bible. Like you know, stand, sit. Like God is like, oh, they did sit in my right hand. Like sit down. Not like sit down right now. Like your mama, like your mama, your daddy. You know, if you got black parents, there's some white parents, but you got black parents, and somebody say they, 
oh, mama, that girl, she, she, she this pop bike, you know, and then, uh, who took your bike? Get, it. and your mommy went up there, what? Who done took my crap? My daughter bike, going off, doing your whole bidding for you, like, got the whole neighborhood looking for your bike like everybody's scared you know what i'm saying like she going to and the kid that got it i didn't know i was like i was gonna give her her bike back i just said i was gonna ride around the corner you don't take my daughter bike you don't do this and this. <laughs> you know and a girl crying the mom was like she shouldn't have took you right you going to get it because she should never took that bike in the first place and <laughs> And the girl, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I took her bike. And then she like, and then mama come in the bike. And she come in there carrying the bike. And then, here, take your bike. You don't let nobody get your bike. You know, I, I got them for you. I took care of it. Like, mom, what'd you do? Don't worry about it. I already took care of it. That's how God is. God like, and people be scared when they see your mama. They're like, oh, y'all better run. She don't, her mama don't play. That's how God is. Like the like the mamas that be like you you don't mess with my daughter bike like you don't mess with like family members like you just don't do certain things to certain people and the thing is is that you don't have to do anything this these are little kids right this is just I'm just making up a story but I'm giving an analogy I'm like there's things that you don't even have to do because you know God is working in your favor someone else is older that is bigger than you that's coming that is working in favor that's going behind you so not only when the mom went out she went out and she just just had just ripped up the whole neighborhood talking about where's my daughter bike da 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 y'all better find my bike she got everybody else in fear talking and looking and everybody else looking that's how God got it like look you don't want no you don't want me to make an example out of you so now god is like listen you don't do this to my children you know this is not right you don't you can't live like you can't like like she gonna sit right here at my footstool till i make your enemy sit here until i make your enemies your footstool that's what god is saying sit right here on my right side till i make it and your mom said and so now all these people in the neighborhood is now like look they ain't even trying to they ain't even trying to mess up nothing they trying to be on their best behavior they trying to be like look and then the the girl's mother that the girl took the bike she even on god's side so everybody's just like no that wasn't right in the person so these people that's playing the two sides follow me follow me so I'm bringing it back now as we see the analogy of the mother with the daughter and the bike how the mother took up for the child that's just how god is going to take up for you you sitting down waiting, you probably got some tears in your eyes. But God like, don't trip. Like, like stop crying. Like, you know, let you we'll shed your last tear. Cause I got them. That don't gotta be in your timing. It doesn't have to be in your But the people that are hurting you, you don't worry. You pray for them that despitefully use you. You pray for them. Because let me tell you something. When mama get mad, oh, it's a it's over for you. Like, when God wrath come, like sit down. God, when God says sit down. Now you know if God says sit down right here until I until I make. So that, that so let me say so 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 God was like so if I could use God words if I could just take the Bible you know say and just kind of put it in a plain term he he like sit down because I'm about to make them pay like like he like this. God is like that that's how God is so he like yo look don't even trip so. When these people play these two sides and, you know, you're feeling like life is like not even like cool anymore. Like it's just like, man, every all your <clears throat> hopes and dreams of like getting to connect with people that you thought was really cool is not. God to say, no, no, you're not about you. This is not about to mess up your, your, your life of getting to know wonderful people and amazing people. These people here, these individuals are not going to mess it up for you. You're not going to mess up your mindset just because of these things that are happening. They're trying to persuade you. They're trying to make you think. They're trying to make you think like this is over, like like this is always going to be. They're trying to make you feel like you're crazy. They're trying to make you feel like you're nothing. They're trying to make you feel less than. But I called you. I called you by your name. I knew you before you were born. And if I put you here, then you're here for a reason. And if these people can repent and if these people can do what is right and come to you be like you know what look i apologize like i changed you know like this is not me and sometimes you won't get an apology but you might see and you won't see the change but people might do the change on their own and that's okay because you're not the god that tries to say or follow up to see because you might you're not even gonna know 
half of these people that where they sit and where they are in the world in different places where they are anyway but people are coming out all around the world because they're they're tired of doing things they're tired of living a certain way they want to do what's right they want to live right a lovely a, a happy life without anything hanging over their heads and so when you you also need to know that fact that if people are also playing both sides that they really want to be free because you can't how long can you do it? How long can you really hold on? Like how long, like how good does that feel? Like, do you know that they're getting stressed out too? Like if somebody is holding somebody down, don't you know they gotta be down there with them? I'm gonna say that again. If somebody is playing mind games and holding people down or playing both sides or or, or shifting people out or not saying who they are, or really do, do you know they have to be down in the pit with that person? So they're not even free themselves. They just got tricked and they just got bribed into it. They were just on assignment thinking that they got the good page, thinking that things are happening. But they, every day they got to wake up and say, oh, okay, I got to go do this again. I got robots. Like, listen, it's not worth it. So it's best that you pray so that they can get free get free because they really don't want to do it they really and if they and if it is that there's something they're doing there's probably something that they're missing there's probably something that they need to avoid that needs to be filled so we don't just necessarily judge these people we we say forgive them because they know not what they do because there's something there's a piece that is missing there's something that they need there's a care there's a love <clears throat> and i'm not saying that you necessarily have to give it to them but you can pray for them across the street you can like you can pray for them across the internet waves like yes you can and so when people play these both sides and when you think that one person is another way and they show you two different other ways that you may feel hurt or you may feel broken just know that you when you master your mind no one can really hurt you no one can really break you unless you give them the power and the permission and it might take a while to get this and you might hear me, but you might be listening, but hearing me and listening and actually making the connection to make it happen is a whole nother process. It's a whole nother level. It's a whole nother mindset mastery. And so just know that you have the power. Like it's like the Wizard of Oz and the guy in the back with the mirror and Dorothy was like I want to I want my I want to go home with Toto and I want this and that and I want to bring you know all the heart and all this stuff right and they just talking I am the great Oz and he got all this green smoke and his mirror going on and stuff you will obey me you know and he's like oh okay you know they scared and it's just like and you scared and he got all this smoke all this fog, all, I mean, the place was huge, the door was huge. I mean, you could look like like ants in, 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 the, in the giant's eye. Like, you could look like, you know what I'm saying, They're like grasshoppers in the eye of the giants, like the Bible. But they're like, we, what are we going to do? Like, we can't do nothing. He's like, listen. And he was like, total was like, the dog had to run out. And the dog was like, now, wait a minute. Now, I don't, now, I don't know what's going on, but it's some fish here, <laughs> The dog was like, let me see what is going on. And he had to run back there because he everybody was stressed. This these two sided people like had everybody stressed out, worried and concerned. They doing all this fall, all this smoke, making you know, pretending this way and this way, and you feeling like, man, I thought this was supposed to be and God is like, Listen, trust in the Lord to like commit to it, wait patiently, like I got you. Watch the video, wait patiently. And Toto went back there. It was like, let me expose these because they ain't going to do that because they back there shivering. Dorothy and all them folks back there talking about they want a heart in the brain and, and, and they need to reap to look at the fine line. He ran by in that door. Go look at the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> I think it was, door, it, was, it, was, it was Toto and pulled that door open or something, pulled that curtain down. And he was still in the great Oz, was still trying to front. I am, and he tried to put the cover back. The great Oz, uh, and Toto's like, and they look at it like that little old guy trying to bully us. They was punking us out this whole time. He said, what are you talking about? He had the microphone and everything. I 
control you. I can make you feel bad. I can do this. I can do that. And Dorothy was like, she got big, big. Like, she got like, everybody got their strength back. Like, they moved into their heart space. It was like, no, nah, bro, you got me twisted. <laughs> Like, you ain't about to be, you is not about to be getting me like this. They all leveled up, like, real quick. So, for people playing both sides, like, you could, they had you stressed out. And when you look behind it, it's an empty shoebox. Like, it's it's heartless. Like, it's, no. And you got to know, like, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. Like, you got to know if there's no, is it, you got to know this. Is it, are they bigger than God? Are they bigger than God? If you put them bigger than God, then you lost already. You lost. You lost, my guy. Like, if you know that there's only one power, there's only one God, there's only one source, Christ Jesus is in. Like, move it. I give you power, love, and a sound mind. Like, greater works that I did, you're going to do. You can see through this stuff. You can see through. Pull back. Trust in me. Like, I have you. I've never seen the righteous forsaken. The dog went back. He had to do what it was necessary. Look, the people wasn't scared. They weren't moving, so the dog had to go make the move. The dog had to say, look, you are not going to, you are not going to continue to do this. You're not going to continue to put, you're not going to continue to act a certain way and then be one thing or another and I continue to be your friend and we continue to hang out this way. If we continue to have a relationship, we continue to build together. You're not. This ends now. And you can see through the line because God has given you divine intuition. And you don't have to say it. You don't have to say it. But you know it. And they know you know. And so when you know these things, it's like two, two, two on the clock, balance, look. Then you're just like, yo, look. It's evidence. And I know that God is working on my behalf. So no, I'm not upset with you. No, I'm not angry. As a matter of fact, I wish you well and I pray for you. And I hope all is well. As a matter of fact, have a good day. And you break away because you got to know that God is real. There's only one power. And if you put anybody, God said, don't put nobody above my name. There's nothing above my name but God. And if there's nothing above God, then he already conquered it. He already conquered it. Love wins. Love wipes out a multitude of BS. You see what I'm saying? Like, you can't make this up. It's written. Okay? So that's like 27 minutes on the clock. You know, for the people that play both sides, you know, give it up. Keep going. Do whatever you want to do you. But the people that are ready to wake up, the people that are going and experiencing all these different things, you know, remember, it can come stronger. It can come harder. God is with you. God says, I never leave or forsake you. I am with you. There is no power but God. And if ever you get to the point where you feel like something is more powerful than God, then you better be scared. You better be scared because you have just given them the power over you. But when you take your power back and you master your mind and you say scriptures and you say those things that are not as though they were and you trust in God with all your heart and you lean not on your own understanding but you acknowledge him in everything that you do. And you know that God is everywhere. God is omnipresent. Elohim, the creator of the universe, then God is in everything. God is everywhere. So even in the midst of that, God showed himself strong. Even in the midst of total coming in through God showed himself strong there's only one power and I am in you I dwell in you he said dwell I dwell in you <sighs> yo this blue really making this throat chakra rock yo listen like no it's the God in me yo like I, I don't know who this message is for but you know if it's for that one person i might i might get this message in maybe another year or two maybe next week maybe next month but let me know if this message has resonated with you um i'm so grateful and thankful that you've taken this time if you've got all the way here and let me know if you need coaching or support or assistance i'm here to help you my book is coming out it's called leverage what you love use your natural gifts and talents to start your business and do more of what you love by earning income and just being your natural creative self. All right, so all those little voices in there and things like that, those are some of the things that I love to do. Um, my passion is in, you know, acting and singing and dancing and playing and just being my natural self. So 
Oh, yes, wherever you are in the world, whether it's morning, noon, or night, I'm blowing kisses to the globe. Check the link below. You'll see if you want to sign up for my coaching sessions. They're now available. My book will be open very soon, too. All right, thank you for tuning in. Have a beautiful day wherever you are in the world. And as always, smile.